hollow rectangular machinery pier is 1.2 meter and 0.8 meter wide and 150 mm thick to stop a vertical load of 2 mega newton is transmitted in the vertical plane by setting 1.2 meter stride at an eccentricity of 100 mm from the geometric axis of the section to stop calculate maximum minimum stress intensity in the section first of all write down the given data the capital date is width it is given 1.2 meter 1.2 meter convert it is in mm 1200 mm and multiply by 1000 then capital d it is given capital d it will be 0 0.8 meter 0 0.8 meter to convert it is in mm that is multiply by 1000 it will be get 800 mm okay then width it is given small internal width first of all this section it is given rectangular section so this one it is outer dimension and this one it is inner dimension so outer dimension width it is given 1.2 meter 1.2 meter that is 1200 mm and this thickness of this rectangular section it is given 150 mm this thickness it is given 150 mm 150 mm okay so we need to calculate small b small b okay so small b is equal to small b is equal to capital b means internal width small b is equal to capital b into 2t into 2t okay capital which is 1200 minus 2 into 150 m 2 into 150 so it will be get small b means internal width of this rectangular section that is 1200 minus 300 so it will be 900 mm 900 mm 900 mm so small d is small d is equal to small d is equal to capital d minus 2t so capital d is 800 minus 2 into 2 into 150 mm 2 into 150 it will be 500 mm so internal width it is 500 mm okay internal and external depth okay so internal means this one internal width okay. this one it is internal width okay. this one it is internal width so here yeah. okay so it will be get small b minus sorry small b is equal to capital b minus this two thickness this thickness and this thickness so throughout this thickness it is 150 mm okay so that's why capital b minus this t minus this will be b minus 2t okay so area of this hello rectangular section a is equal to capital b into capital b into capital d minus small b into small b into capital d okay so it will be a cross hello area of low rectangular section so capital capital b it is 1200 1200 into 1200 into capital d it is 800 800 then minus small b it is small b it is small b it is 900 into small d it is 500 500 so it will get area of cross sectional area of rectangular machinery okay so 1200 into 800 minus 900 into 5 so it will be 510 into 10 raised to 3 510 into 10 raised to the power 3 mm square mm square this one it is area of hello rectangular section so i will note down this value 510 into 10 raised to 3 mm square. Okay. So next, calculate moment of inertia. I is equal to I is equal to B D Q 1 by 12. 1 by 12. 1 by 12.
one by twelve in bracket in bracket b d q in bracket b d q p into d q okay b d q b d q minus minus small b small b into d q small b into d q small b into d q we get moment of inertia for this hello rectangular shape yeah. we'll write down here so i is equal to put all these value here i is equal to 1 by 12 1 by 12 1 by 12 in that case in that case b it is 1200 1200 into d it is 800 cube 800 cube 800 cube 800 cube minus minus small b it is 900 900 into 500 cube 500 500 cube you will get moment of energy about axis axis because it is intersect to the thickness bisecting this it one it is vertical plane okay bisecting it is vertical plane that's why we have taken i axis i is equal to so 1200 into 800 cap p minus 900 into 500 cap 3 divided by 12 Okay. We will get IXS 4.18, 4.18 4 to 5 into 10 raised to the power, 10 raised to the power 10, mm raised to 4, mm raised to 4. This one it is moment of inertia. Okay. Now calculate section modulus. Z is equal to Z is equal to I by Y. Z is equal to I by Y. Z is equal to I by Y. I divided by Y. I by Y. I by Y. Okay. I by Y. Is equal to Z it is I it is four point four point one eight two five into ten to the power ten and number four divided by divided by why it is overall depth it is y bar it is measured from the air. Okay. So y bar it will be Overall depth it is 800. 800 divided by 2 it will be 400. 400. So it will get section model. Okay. So divided by 400. So it will be 108. Sorry, 104.56. 56 into 10 raised to the power 6 mm cube. Mm cube. So this one it is section model. So this one is section model. I will note down this value also. Z is equal to 104.56 into 10 raised to the power 6 mm cube. Okay. So this one is section model. Okay. So now movement, calculate movement. Calculate movement. So P it is given, P is equal to P is equal to 2 mega newton. P mega newton means 2 into 10 to the power 6 newton. Okay, it will be newton. So moment is equal to m is equal to m is equal to P into E. 
goes into eccentric field. So P it is 2 into 10 to the power 2 into 10 to the power 3, sorry, 6 A into E it is eccentricity it is given. It is bisecting at an eccentricity of 100 mm. Means 100, it is 100. So you get moment is in Newton mm. So 2 into 10 to the power 6 into 100. So it will be 200 into 10 to the 6, 200 into 10 to the power 6, Newton m, Newton m, Newton m. So this one it is moment. Okay. Now maximum stress sigma max is equal to maximum intensity of stress sigma max is equal to sigma max is equal to sigma max is equal to Direct stress plus bending stress. Direct stress that is P by A. P by A. P by A. P by A. Plus, plus P by J. That is M by J. That is M by J. 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 So is equal to all this value. P it is. P it is. 2 into 10 to the power 6 divided by cross sectional area. Cross sectional area. Cross sectional area. Area calculated is 510, 510 into 10 to the power 3, then plus, then plus m it is 200 into 10 to the power 6 divided by grid it is, section model of grid it is, we have calculated it is 104. 104.56 into 10 to the power 6 mm. Okay. So, you will get sigma max value from this. Okay. Sigma max is equal to, right on, sigma max is equal to, sigma max is equal to, P by A, that is, sigma max is equal to, P by A it is, 2 into 10 raised to the power 6 divided by 510 into 10 raised to the power 3. So it will be 3.92, 3.92, then plus, then plus, then plus 200 into 10 raised to the power 6 divided by 104.56 into 10 raised to the power 6. So it will be 1.912. 1. 1. 912. So sigma max it will be get plus 3.94. It will be 5.83 Newton per mm square. 5.83 5.83 Newton per mm square. Newton per mm square or MP. Newton per mm square or MP. And same find out sigma minimum. Sigma minimum is equal to sigma minimum. Minimum is simplicity. Sigma minimum is equal to sigma minimum is equal to P by A, 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 minus M by Z, minus M by Z. Minus M by J. Minus M by J. Okay. Minus M by J. So P by A it is 3.92. 3.92. Minus M by J it is 1.912. That will be sigma minimum is equal to 3.92 minus 1.912. It will be 2 Newton per m square, 2 Newton per mm square. So 
one it is maximum intensity second one it is minimum intensity we will draw the stress diagram for that maximum stress and its minimum so maximum it will be 5.83 5.83 Newton per mm square and minimum it is minimum it two two Newton per mm square two Newton per mm square. Okay. so this one it is maximum minimum stress intensity for the given hollow rectangular shape okay for the given hollow rectangle 